say, oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, if, if we can see in the bottom left, too, as we discover places, we get fragments from discovering places. So that's why our bar's kind of filled up, which is pretty nice. Um, as I'm just glancing around at everything, my goodness. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and pop to... Yeah, seven terror. Let's go ahead and pop to the shops and then take care of some of our things. So the mushroom wine sells for 23, so we've made just a tiny bit on that. Let's not sell that just yet. Let's see if anybody else... Oh, it's... no. Nope. Hmm. Alright, we can go ahead and sell off our tomb colonists. And by sell them off, I mean have them pay us for dropping them off. It makes it sound like I'm some sort of, like, you know, horrible person buying people and selling them into slavery or some such. But no, I'm selling them into the tomb colonies where they come to die, apparently. My gosh. Or at least live in peace, you know. I can understand that too. I'm all for that. So we'll sell those suckers off. <laughs> we have a memory of distant shores, which you can sell off for 12. You know, I'm going to actually write some of these things down for my own edification. And that way we can know who best to sell which things to. Because if we can sell memory of distant shores for 12 here or 15 back in London, it makes more sense to go back to London, wouldn't it? Hmm. I can give myself a chance to drink some of my coffee, too, while I try to find a piece of paper. Stand by. <laughs> okay. Got a pad and paper. Pad, pad and paper? We've got a pad of paper, a pen, and I've got some fresh coffee, too, now. My coffee was getting a little bit cold, so... And I have a feeling I could use a hot beverage for my throat after all this reading, too. All right, let me write a couple of these things down. So let's see here. Fifteen per colonist... It's the first time in forever that I've written anything down on a piece of paper for a video game. <laughs> I love it. Uh, 12 for memory of distant shore. And it's really like two, two echoes we're really getting for selling off the wine. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell it off. In fact, let's... Okay. I'm going to hang on to the memory of distant shore for right now. Hollow Temple. So the Foxfire Candles... 33 for candles. Maybe the candles are the way to go. So yeah, 20 for supplies and fuel, just one. So if we're going to use basically one full thing of fuel coming up here and then likely one full thing going back. I mean, yeah, the 45 we'll get from the three colonists will be enough to cover the fuel, but really we're not going to get a lot of extra plus buying supplies. So... Yeah, we'll have to look into maybe doing some of the candles as well. We'll sell off all of our wine. 121 Echoes. I'd, I'd like to try to kind of get this kind of part going regularly so we can build up a bunch of Echoes and have some to work with. Um, I might do some of that just kind of off camera so you don't guy have to watch me going back and forth the whole time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it'll be... Yeah, we'll have to figure out a good, good... It seems like candles might be the better way to go than wine. Because uh, we need to be able to kind of keep up our steady amount of supplies and be increasing our echoes, not breaking even the whole time. So... Hmm, what else? What, what do they sell here? Nothing. Supplies and fuel. Okay, perfect. All right, well, let's head back to London. Um, we'll maybe look into loading up on some of the candles instead of the anything else. I'm kind of curious how much the, you know, economy kind of fluctuates. Anything like that, which, you know, would... If prices kind of go up and down, it might be kind of waiting until the proper time to sell some of our stuff off as well. And eventually, we're going to want to try to take out that pirate ship. In fact, let's let's just go for it. Why? Why wait? Let's go for it. Uh, taking out that pirate ship so that way he doesn't keep trying to attack us in our trip in between. Uh, but we can also, you know, salvage the ship, go back and sell the ship off for ca cash, um, or just kind of collect whatever's left of it. Uh, we're gonna see if we can try to take it and, you know, take it. Ooh, we're heading straight at those bats. Mm -hmm. uh, see if we can take the ship so we can sell it off as well. Oh my gosh. We are just falling behind these bats. Okay, there we go. We can see the 
pirate ship isn't that far off. Oh my gosh. They're coming right at us! Yep. Okay, perfect. Alright, here we go. Nope, they're coming at us again! <laughs> at least they're searching for us. I think having our light off is kind of keeping them away from us. Man. It's throwing off our attack plan. Okay, there we go. They're, they're leaving. Alright, here we go. Getting our firing solution for shooting at this sucker, and boom! Oh, we missed. Craptacular. Come on. Come into range. Ready and fire. Boom! Oh, man. All right. I want to try not to take a lot of damage ourselves. Crap. I say that just as we get hit. So we're going to try to kind of stay on the move. Boom! Nice. So that was pretty good. We took a little bit of hull damage, but as a whole, all right, here we go. Ship is ours. So we can loot her and scuttle her. <laughs> Take what you can and move on. Record any observations. Hmm, 10 observations. I'm curious how you get those. Or send her home with a prize crew. Pretty good odds. So we have a crew. We'd send them with three. London is right there, so that we shouldn't have any problem with it. Uh, it sounds like there's a chance that, you know, they might try to just run off with your ship. We'll lose the crew. We'll lose the, this ship. Um, but it's worth the risk, really. So, nice. Uh, praises you've taken away in London. We've lost two crew. And we are fortunate. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and head back to London. Claim our reward from capturing the ship. Get our crew back. And then we'll be good to go. So we wasted a little bit more fuel than we probably needed to by stopping in Hunter's Keep for Hunter's Reach. Hunter's, what a Hunter's Keep, yep. Um, and avoiding things, fighting that pirate, which will be gone for uh, at least a while now. I'm curious if he'll respond at some point. I honestly don't know. But it seems like about two barrels of fuel to make it to Vendor Bite and back. I... I I have no idea how much food we started with. We were fortunate in that we got some supplies from Hunter's Keep. But we can't always count on that. So we'll have to make sure that we have enough of, of a profit by going to and from Vendor Bite. Let's see here. Collect messages from the Harbor Master. Uh, hmm. Are there messages? Mes message for you, sir. Let's see, someone wants to sign on? Something has changed in the neath. Hmm, okay. So, speaking to this gentleman here... Um... <clears throat> a very fine evening to you, Captain. My, what you might... Uh, yeah, my, what you might call mentor is very fond of adventurous sea captains, and he would like to offer you what some might call dispensation. On account as he is so fond of Z captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the deck stands a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. So we won't accept his stuff yet, because it seems like he wants to send us off to, you know, the far reaches of the Underzeem, which we're not really geared up for yet. Uh, so we might accept some of his stuff later on, but for right now, let's just perhaps not. Okay, let's pop to our lodgings, read the morning papers. Bonk. The Ken, Ken, Con, Ed, Conate is threatening war, they always are. London's colonies on the Carneal Coast want independence, they always do. The Undersea, the papers report, has, gone, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't, you'd know. Oh, a promotion coupon from Mrs. Plenty's Provisioners. For half a cask of salt herring, you could use that. Holy smokes, so we got one supplies? We lost one terror, and we have recent news now, which we'll be able to sell off. Fantastic. Well, we don't really need to rest right now. Our, we've got 17 terror, which isn't terrible. I'm glad we got a little bit more supplies. We do collect our prize money. So we gained our two crew back at 50 Echoes Hot Dog. That's nice. 
I'm alright with that. Hopefully we can try to do that more often. Because again, you know, the damage we'll take from, you know, either those Z swarm, the Z swarms, the bat swarms, or pirates along the way, you know, we still want to be coming out on top over time. Purchase an elegant townhouse. We don't have the money for that. We don't want to write our will yet. Should you die, this ensures that your heir retains your lodgings and any heirlooms you've accumulated. Fascinating. So when you die, not if, but when you die, you have the option of leaving something to your heir. Uh, it could be the chart, so everywhere you've already explored can be left. Um, I think it's, you know, like, I'm trying to remember what some of the other options are. One of them is, like, the, the skill bonus that you have, so our skill bonus to... What was it? Pages or mirrors? Yeah, I think our mirrors bonus. Um, or there was something else. Maybe it's like your ship, your current state of your ship. Um, so yeah, we'll, hopefully we won't die for a while. We won't have to figure out which thing we'll do. And then writing the Zong of the Z. You have assembled a store of lore and a collection of antiquities. Your knowledge of the Z rivals uh, that of any captain of history. Write it all down. This seems like what we would do to finally retire. Uh, so yeah, we pot purchase an elegant townhouse and a Z-side mansion. And then I would like to write the Zong of the Z. This is kind of going to be my goal for our, our series, is to get that, retire. Um, hopefully we won't die along the way. Hopefully we can do this in one try. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how lucky we end up. Um, Again, if, if I can at least do the kind of grindy back and forth, selling stuff off for a while, build up a bunch of cash, maybe buy a, a nicer ship, that'll be the way to kind of go from there. Uh, I'm, yeah, most of the rest of these things that we can purchase in the shops too, I'm kind of curious where we might sell these off. We'll have to kind of keep our eye open as we explore some of the other places. But let's see here, let's pop out to London really quick, pop back to the Admiralty Survey Office. And then, what have the nearly been dead been up to? So we have that port report from Vendor Bytes. Let's go ahead and, and we got 10 echoes for that. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Don't have anything else for them. <laughs> Done. Out into the foggy street, turn your collar up. You know, I am probably the biggest proponent against pop collars in the universe. <laughs> but a... Color turned up on a nice overcoat, something like that. I'm I'm all for that. You know, in the proper context, a popped color is all right. Any other context, you're going to be punched in the face. All right. Uh, let's see here. We don't really need. Um, we'll go ahead and pick up some more tomb colonists. Perfect. New recruit. Who awaits our attention? So yeah, we might wait a while before we hire in a new crew member as well. I'd like to really kind of fully crew ourselves out um i'm just curious yeah like unlocked with 50 echo it seems like it's really just kind of a one-time upfront cost but then we're good um having this will help to you know like a gunnery officer or something like that if we want to take up more pirates being able to get firing solutions more quickly uh let's see here Engage us. Yeah, we don't need any more crew just yet. We'll, we'll try to try to go get some more cash in the meantime. Let's. Is there a better place to buy some of these things as well? Where was our candles? Five, five for forty. What? 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 <laughs> So man, looks like wine is the only thing that we can really make any sort of cash off of, which is unfortunate. Since yeah, the candles sell for thirty-three up in the tomb colonies. Man, that that's tough. Okay, well, it looks like the mushroom wine is gonna be the way to go in the meantime. We'll go ahead and load up on that. Fully load up. How much does that give us? Eight, eight times so sixteen. I mean, it's better than nothing that we're doing. As we'll have more cash, we'll be able to, you know, purchase more of that and sell off more of it and kind of make more with each run, which will be very nice. But at the same time, yeah, that's 
I was hoping for some much better <laughs> bang for our buck kind of a deal. So, hmm, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sail back to Vanderbite a few times, back and forth. I'll just kind of do this off camera so you guys don't have to watch me sail in silence and give my voice a break, too, because, uh, you know, I enjoy the, the reading these things, and it gives me a chance to actually read what I'm doing instead of just clicking through Go on everything all at once. Um, and then we'll come back. I'd like to build up, you know, maybe close to like a thousand echoes would be nice. Uh, just, you know, give us a little bit more to work with. Uh, and then from there, we might actually try to explore some of these other places. We might head south for a little bit. There's so many places kind of close at hand. Um, you know, we'll, we'll probably stick around fall in London. We would not, don't want to venture out too, too, too far yet because... It's a decently sized. There's still plenty of this to be filled out by the, the game developers. I know there's just kind of a lot of emptiness in here, um, which is kind of fascinating that there's, you know, still stuff to be added, which is, you know, exciting to me. I always love something new to explore, so games that are in development still make for excitement like that. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll load up some stuff so we don't have to worry too, too much about, uh, you know, running out of fuel... Um, along the way, or, oh my gosh, is this rising? Am I, am I eating this right now? Let's go back to London. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, but yeah, so that, that's going to be it for right now. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to leave any comments if you, you know, don't want me to read through absolutely everything so we can save a little bit of time and get right to the action. If you'd like me to spend a little bit more time on exploring or if there's anything that you would like me to try to focus on, you know, please please let me know, because, uh, you know, it's it's a new game to me, too, so there's plenty to kind of explore and do, so I hate to, you know, pass over anything. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, favorite, subscribe, any of that fun stuff that you feel like doing, you know, entirely up to you. It's, it's you know, if you if you don't like this series at all, please tell me, and I can play something else. You know, it's, a, it's an interesting game to me, but it might not be nearly as fun to watch for you guys, so please let us know. Feedback is appreciated. But anyway, thank you very much. Um, thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye.